card. Okay. Okay, I'm at the house of Gunnar Resla. And Gunnar has a problem with his pump. First, I just wanted to show you the way that he has shoveled off his grinder pump. And here in Chelmsford this winter, we've probably gotten over four feet of snow. We've got a lot of rain in the last couple of weeks, and we now have freezing temperatures. So what we have is an ice pack at the lower levels. And this can block the ventilation through the vent on your grinder pump, which is that section right there. And um, that can be a problem, and that can cause a failure. Now, Gunner's not going to have a problem with that, but, but Gunner actually has a different problem with his pump right now. And I wanted to show you that. Uh, here's his alarm panel. We're going to do a test on his panel here. Go ahead, Gunner. You can run the water now. What we're going to do is, Gunner's going to run water. We're actually going to monitor the current draw on his system uh, when it starts to draw current. When, it, when, uh, when the alarm, when the uh, motor turns on. Now, what's happening with Gunner's system is uh, when his pump runs, his alarm goes off. And, uh, and when it when it runs, it has a longer than normal pump down cycle, and um, Gunner's concerned about that. So I came over to take a look at that, and I wanted to show you what I found. While we're waiting, I just wanted to show you. If you look back there, if you can see, Gunner has a, re a remote sentry. This is the remote sentry cable right here. And if you look at where those red and white wires are connected, you'll see his remote sentry is actually miswired. The remote sentry should be connected up top where it says remote sentry. Gunner has a backup generator, so when the power goes out, he's not relying on his remote sentry, but what can happen in the winter right now, and this happens a lot, it just happened yesterday, uh, your alarm goes off, you're inside the house. You cannot hear the alarm. You might be in the shower, and you're continuing to use water, even though your alarm has gone off. The remote sentry is great for a power out, but it's also important because the alarm is on the inside of the house. And um, especially for people who might have he a hearing loss, being able to hear this alarm when you're inside the house in the winter is uh, not a problem. Many people are informed that their alarm has gone off by their neighbors who hear it. Okay, now, the alarm has gone off. Okay, the alarm's off. If you notice the current draw on his pump, it's 5.6. That's perfectly normal. Now, if we measure the pump down time, on Gunner's pump operation. It's quite long. Uh, normal on-off cycle is 8-gallon pump. An 8-gallon pump is about a 30 to 1 minute uh, of pump. But when it's using the alarm switch to turn the system on and off, it's actually pumping more than 8 gallons. The on-off level, the on level for the alarm is uh, 47 gallons. The off level of the alarm, that's not published. But it's actually pumping more than 8 gallons and that's why it's actually taking longer in this case his his uh you can see the current motor current's gone back to zero his 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 pump is perfectly fine the problem with this system is his on off switch is stuck off and the system is only kicking on when it gets to the alarm level and then the alarm is running for about uh, a minute or two two minutes let's say uh and then it, and then it switches off and now it's w just waiting for more water to come in so his system is actually working, 
but he needs uh, his on-off switch replaced. Gunner's serial number is below 353,000, and therefore he actually has the defective uh, switches. Both his alarm switch and his on-off switch are defective, and they could go bad. His alarm switch could go bad at any time, and he will be due with a backup. He needs to call somebody to get this replaced. Uh, because the Gunner's installation went in, in August of 2009, he's actually still covered by the five-year warranty on these faulty switches. This warranty is through E1. If he calls FR Mahoney, he should have both of these switches replaced at no cost to him. And, and that's something that's important for him uh, to do because he, this has been going on for several weeks, uh, but eventually his alarm switch will also fail. Okay, uh, that's all. Thanks. Bye.